So let's continue this uh, set of videos with iKinema. Uh, last time we created a setup where we could run up a ledge like this and have it look pretty okay. Sometimes you will notice something weird which you may not uh, be interested in, like um, for example in making a really huge step. So that's something we are going to take a look at in this video. Um, so one thing uh, we can do and that's gonna be found inside the animation uh, the Ikenema rig um, is uh, let me see actually no it's not found in here it's uh, inside the animation blueprint sorry um, so when you click this node here, uh, there's a little node up here called line trace scale. And if you change this up to down to 0 0.5, for example, I must be honest and tell you, I have not entirely figured out what this does, uh, but it does seem to get this, uh, to behave a little bit better. So as you can see, uh, I have to get pretty close to the ground uh, before he tries to step down and touch the ground. Um, so one thing actually I just noticed is that the, the right foot seems to be floating above the ground. I haven't really figured out why that happens, um, but that's something I will try and look into. Anyway, uh, changing this uh, setting uh, with a call um, line trace scale down to half of uh, half the, the, the value uh, seems to make sure that uh, he doesn't make that huge step sometimes um, so he will end up um, like this and only when he can reach the ground uh, he will try to make a foot adjustment so it's something you, you can play around with uh, and see what uh, suits your needs. Okay, so another thing I wanted to address in this video is um, uh, now that we have our guy running and we want to make him jump uh, as he usually can, you might notice that he's going to make that little hitch you see here. Uh, so it's um, going to look like that. So I guess there's a way to change this uh, without um, uh, inside the animation rig. I haven't really figured out uh, which setting it is uh, I should uh, change. Uh, but I did found, uh, find a nice workaround for this, which includes using um, a blend by bow. Um, so this is not Akinema specific, but it's uh, related to getting some of this to work as you intend. So um, type in blend by bool, and you will say this variable we get here is in air. We drag into the active value here. So if we are in the air. Uh, we actually don't want to use the Ikenema uh, foot placement behavior. So what we will also do is to create a cache state here. So a new cache pose, sorry, um, like this. And let's call this uh, uh, motion uh, um, pose. And we'll just use this down here. Uh, use a motion pose and pop that in. So um, <clears throat> if uh, we are not in the air, we will go into this one and uh, connect that one up. And if we are in the air, we will just gonna use the regular um, oops, um, this one. 
So this has a few drawbacks. Um, I'll tell you in a moment. Um, but as it is right now, you can see we can now jump again and land smoothly. And we can still uh, walk up our ledge. And we can still jump and, and land. And let's see if we put ourselves like this. And it will land uh, softly uh, there, right? <clears throat> so the drawback of this uh, approach is that if you have um, some other functionality you're using inside the Kinema foot placement behavior node, uh, that's going to be turned off during uh, the time when he's in the air. Um, and until I find a better way to work around this, uh, what you can do um, is actually to uh, um, add another node here. Um, type in solve using Ikenema uh, rig um, to go in between here. And uh, basically this tells uh, that it should use a different uh, IK uh, solver when we are in the air. Um, and in order to get this to work, because if we just run now and jump, he's going to look really weird uh, when he's in the air. So we need to connect something up to this. So when you drag out from this one and type uh, to get this make a kinema um, solver task, uh, I like to use this one because it can be collapsed. Um, you want to make sure that you turn on translation and orientation and leave the alpha to zero. So that just tells it that it should not uh, use anything. So just make sure to disable everything. Like this. And that means that when we now jump, we can uh, still uh, get whatever solving we need uh, when we are in the air, but not get that pop uh, fr from the foot node. So that's a nice little uh, workaround for that. I'm not really sure this is uh, intended. I haven't really um, dug deeper into this, but it's, uh, it's a setup that seems to work um, pretty well. Um, so, yeah, I think actually that's it for this short video. Um, yeah, um, I'm going to continue in the next video taking a look at actually the look at uh, tasks, uh, what we can use them for. So uh, stay tuned and uh, see you in the next. Okay.